Hi, I'm Nikki Hallrich. And I'm Anna Hagen. We're the owners and founders of Hagen & Oates. We started our company about 13 months ago, um, and it kind of started pretty organically. Um, I got a bandsaw from my... Father-in-law. Father-in-law. Yeah. And we decided we wanted to make something for my mantle. So Nikki decided we were going to make a deer, and that's just what we did. Yep. And it was a struggle, but we did it. Um, from then, we put it on Facebook and social media, and right off the bat, we just got people who wanted our pieces. And so that's kind of how we started. Um, so Hagen and Oates, we had to come up with a name for our business, and we wanted to kind of have a, a family name. So we were toying with Hollerich and Hagen, and that just has no ring to it whatsoever. So we used Anna's last name of Hagen, and I have a tiny little furball of a cat named Oatmeal. And so we decided to use the word oats for part of our business name. It has a nice ring, Hagen and Oats. Um, we started with, like I said, the deer, and then we kind of moved to the Minnesota inspired pretty much anything. Um, and mm -hmm. we've gotten a ton of ideas from other customers just asking for custom pieces, custom items. So we're kind of willing to try anything, which is what makes us so fun. We can expand and expand and expand. Yeah. And we make every piece by hand, so doing kind of custom work or customized pieces, it's it's kind of six to one, half dozen the other because we're cutting them all anyway. So yeah. um, I think our main decision to not grow the company to a level where we're producing um, with machinery is because there's a lot of companies out there can, that can do that. And I think a lot of people can't do the artist. She scroll saws everything by hand. And I think that's a talent. Um, and picking up, going to stores and picking up the Minnesota pieces and seeing like that they're not from Minnesota. It's kind of like we were proud to say that we, we make it all here in Minnesota. Yeah. You know, being the classic car gal that I am. <laughs> uh, no, I think that that what I think that the Beatles, my favorite, my dad and I rebuilt it when I was a kiddo growing up and it was kind of hands on. We put my jeans inside of the seats, the, like the seat covers, we redid the flooring, we kind of redid everything together. Um, and he kind of always was an inspiration for us doing projects and being really hands-on. So um, I'd say that car probably is, has a little piece of my heart. My dad had a 1970 Stingray Corvette when we were growing up. And I don't know that I loved the car as much as I loved that it had T-tops and we could pull them off and we were allowed to stick our heads out the top just down the street and then until we get to the top side, we had to duck that down. So I have fond memories of that car. Yeah, that was fun. Um, so we're doing the Maury's heritage uh, sign. Um, yeah. We've also done just people's uh, cars. What, what yeah. was Ben's car? The 914 Porsche. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So we made, you know, he gave us a basically a model of a car he wanted. We did some Google searching and found some images and then we kind of go in and create something on our own and we can upload that and print it out and do a cut of that. So, so what? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's kind of endless options and we're willing to try anything, which is half the gig. We started this whole thing, like we said, probably a little over a year ago, and it seems that this maker, Minnesota maker community has kind of taken us under their wing and sucked us in, and they've got us into events and different vendor shows. They've introduced us to people. So, you know, hopefully we can do that to other people as we go through this, this yeah, course sure. that we've done. So a couple people that have been great for us are um, the Storm Sisters, yeah. uh, Urban, Under, Urban Undercover, Lake Time Magazine, they've been great to us. They put us in a couple of their yes. ads in their magazine. They're going to do a little feature on us, so we're pretty excited about them. Lynn Lake Brewery, shout out. Yeah, Lynn they've Lake Brewery. They've been awesome. We've been doing our beer meets at their okay. brewery, too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so uh, we're Hagen and Oats. You can find our product on Facebook, Instagram, or we have a webpage, HaganandOats.com. We do custom orders. We love people. We love working with people. Uh, we're thankful for where we are now. Signing yep. out. Signing out. <laughs>